No, that's not somebody peeing off the bus. That is all the rainwater coming from the roof. I woke up to uh, thunder and lightning. Good morning from Fredericksburg, Texas. That's how much rain dropped this morning. I would say that's three quarters of an inch. What do you say? Maybe. More than a half inch. Maybe. That was just like in an hour. Yeah, it wasn't very long. It didn't rain yeah. that long. Rain hard though. All right, first stop of the day, we are at a place called Wild Seed Farms, the largest wildflower seed farm, <laughs> working seed farm uh, and flower farm in the world, apparently. So um, it's not flower There's season. There's no flowers. Yeah, over here they do have a bunch of uh, fields. Um, there are no flowers right now. This is not flower season. So um, we're just going to mosey around and, and check it out. You can uh, find some psychedelic cactus here for $39.95. And a small array of uh, desert kind of plants and succulents and uh, clerodactyls. Uh, over here there's probably live music or events or something in the summertime. This is definitely a spring, summer, fall kind of place I have a feeling because there's really not much blooming. Here is some kind of flower. And that is pretty much the only thing blooming right now. These ones are hummingbird plants? Yeah, get hummingbirds. Cool. about this place is that you can get a one pound bag which covers about 2,000 square feet of all these different blends. There's like southeastern, southwest, firecracker, butterfly hummingbird, and like all these different things for whatever region that you are from or that you're gonna grow. So this is the uh, next stop on today's uh, journey, Magnolia Pearl House, established 1865. Claire said 1865 was what? Louder. The year the Civil War ended. All right. That's right, folks. Uh, this looks like a cool little old, I don't know, 50s pickup truck. Oh, my gosh. It with is a so chicken cool. coop in the back. I love it. <laughs> yes, Motel and Claire so loves cute. it. This is very Texas. But, uh, yeah, super cool inside. This is actually a, um, I think it's like a boutique. Oh, my gosh. I love this. But we had to stop because it's just so pretty. And they have lots of interesting stuff like this um, little bench thing. Oh, is it I know, kind of. Yeah, look Ooh. at this. You can so have you can just, coffee. Yeah, just hang out. Drink your coffee. Have a, <laughs> have a tea or coffee. It's pretty cool. We got some oh, interesting. Witchcraft. Yeah, got some interesting things around here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, that's. Oh my god, that's made out of stone. I thought it was wood. Isn't that crazy? Super cool. Now, this is like the uh, the quintessential Texas farmhouse, antique farmhouse look. Oh my god. What? This is so cool. Oh, this is an actual functioning toilet. That's funny. I thought it was like a, a setup. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at how massive this fireplace is. Oh my <laughs> lord. It's the size of Claire. <laughs> The 
This right here is a working pulley elevator. I'm not even sure what to call this thing, but it goes all the way up to the top of the building. That is cool. Well, what do you think about that place, Claire? I think it was uh, vintage. <laughs> Very vintage. I don't normally stop in a boutiques, but this place is <laughs> it's almost like a museum inside there. Um, I would like say half it's... museum, half historically accurate overpriced clothes. <laughs> <laughs> definitely some pricey stuff in there, but uh, definitely some high quality vintage everything. This is one of the coolest older buildings I've ever seen in my life. Uh, nothing screams Texas like uh, riding your horse home from church on a Sunday. So we parked and we are now at uh, in, in Fredericksburg. I think this is the local library and there's some voting going on so that's some kind of city hall thing but we just stumbled upon some uh, pecans and I happen mm. to step on one asking Claire if they're edible and she's a pecan master. Are these edible? I mean, are yeah. these? Yeah? Mm -hmm. There you go. The Fredericksburg Library Fresh Pecans. Damn, those are good. Almost has like a hint of um, like maple syrup flavor. Wouldn't you say? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just got scolded for almost stepping on the pecans and Claire said, uh-uh, and this is the proper way? If you step on them, you shatter them. Oh, okay. This way, see how it's all nice, one big piece. Yes, because it clearly tastes different when it's smashed well, up in little pieces. you can eat more when it's like this. You lose all the little... <laughs> Kill your own pecan. Oh. If you go through Texas and you don't stop and crack a few pecans fresh off the tree, you haven't really experienced Texas. <laughs> Free lunch. Incredible. Great flavor. Some of them are just like oozing with like sweetness and the oil. And it's just, it's great. These are delicious. And they just fall right off the tree. All right, so we're going to stop off at the uh, German little restaurant here, Der Lindenbaum. We're going to get a little sausage. But basically, this is a very touristy town. If if you have been to a touristy place before, you know what it's like. You can get all kinds of like souvenirs, gifts. They got wine, you can drink beer on the sidewalk and walk down the street, popcorn, fudge, we're gonna stop in later. But first, we're gonna grab some lunch. We're gonna try the place across the street, the Auslander Biergarten. Um, hopefully it's a little bit on the cooler side. That one was just a little bit warm and kind of stuffy and pretty quiet, huh? Yeah, there's like one table. <laughs> No go in that place too, a little bit too warm for me inside. Also, I think for Claire, huh? Yeah. Attempt number five. Hopefully it is air conditioned or not so hot inside. All right, Claire Bird, do you want to do the honors? Hot? Nah. It looks hot. So <laughs> hot. Yeah, so we got an order of uh, fried okra as an appetizer. And it, you can feel the heat rating off of them. But, <laughs> Here we go. Here's the main event. We got the uh, sausage, German sausage plate, two different kinds of sausages, some kind of potatoes, red cabbage, pickled kraut stuff, and then we got regular sauerkraut, and of course the yellow mustard, and one hungry Claire Bear. What do you think about the potatoes? They're so yummy. I don't know what they are. They're sweet, huh? So we don't know what kind of, we're gonna have to look on the menu, but these potatoes. There's almost like a vinegary and sweet kind of flavor. I want to say like apple cider vinegar. It is a little apple. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I could eat just a whole thing. That's really good, it's really good. How do you like that uh, red cabbage? Yummy. Yummy? Which one's which? which what are, I don't know. That's a. We'll get the menu. One of them is. Bockwurst, and this is a other. I don't know. It's, the food's incredible here. Dusseldorf sausage. I think that's the one that I have. Bratwurst. This one's bratwurst. Yeah, bratwurst or Dusseldorf. Mm -hmm. That's Dusseldorf. The red cabbage right here. It's so good. 
There's pickle. It has like a sweet flavor to it. Oh wait, I need to try this mascara. Or, mm. I already tried it. Now it's my turn. Right. It's delicious. Now we're <laughs> having a sausage fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lunch was delicious. I and think I could do like half the sandwich. Right across, right next to our um, restaurant place down there is a fudge place. So we're going to get some fudge or at least sample some. Claire, Success. what'd you get? Uh, what is this? The dark chocolate and pecan? Yep. Yeah. I don't think it'll take us a year. It might take us like a whole year to eat this. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna like one bite at a time. It was pretty it's rich, so huh? Sweet. Yeah. yeah. So, no joke, I just found uh, my pink flamingos. So, great news, finally in Texas discovered the pink flamingos. However, what is the bad news? Oh, it's closed. That's so sad. supper if anybody has elk meat I just cooked it with a little bit of water and then put in two packages of uh, chopped spinach added some uh, some seasoning to it there's uh, you know um, southern seasoning the uh, Louisiana seasoning a little pepper Claire bear it's so good isn't it it's, so good. it's super lean and super healthy so I guess you could substitute turkey for this. Uh, you could do, you know, a little butter, uh, garlic, onion, mushroom saute, a little red wine, and then mix that in with the uh, the elk or turkey or any kind of ground something lean because uh, the spinach makes up for the um, lack of moisture. Anyways, I'm gonna call it a day. Had a pretty fun day in Fredericksburg with this pretty fun little munchkin Claire Bear. <laughs> uh, and this is our last night together. I know, big thumbs down for that one, but uh, I'll see Claire Bear at some point somewhere. Yeah.